Before we delve into the intricacies of our supplications, let us first acknowledge the battle field upon which our struggles unfold. The Apostle Paul, in his timeless wisdom, reminds us in Ephesians 6, 12, that our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. This profound insight beckons us to recognize the unseen forces at play in the unfolding drama of our lives. Our battles extend beyond the visible realm, entwining with the spiritual dimensions that shape our destinies. With this awareness, we approach the throne of grace, seeking divine guidance and strength. In Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6, we are admonished to trust in the Lord with all our hearts and lean not on our own understanding. And in all our ways we are to acknowledge Him, and He shall direct our paths. This foundational principle underpins our prayerful journey, inviting the Almighty God to take the reins of our lives and lead us through the labyrinth of challenges that lay before us. So as we surrender our understanding, we invite the divine wisdom of God through His Holy Spirit to illuminate our hearts and guide our steps. In the sacred scripture, which is the Bible, we uncover a tapestry of divine pledges and promises that serve as beacons of hope in the minds and the midst of our tribulations. The Lord, our unwavering ally, has left us assurances that resonate through the ages. In John 16, 33, Jesus declares, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. This proclamation forms the bedrock of our confidence, an invitation to embrace peace in the face of tribulation, knowing that the ultimate victory is already secured in the triumph of our Lord. As we embark on this prayerful expectation, we do so with hearts exulting in the certainty of victory. As Christians born of water and of a spirit. Romans 8 37 assures us that we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. It is not a distant hope or a mere aspiration but a present reality woven into the fabric of our existence. With this triumphant assurance we stand firm in the face of adversity knowing that the battles we wage are not for mere survival but for the manifestations of victorious life promised by our creator in the arsenal of prayer we find the tools to equip ourselves for the spiritual warfare that unfolds in the unseen realms Ephesians 6 13 nudges us to take up the whole armor of God that we may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. This divine armor comprises in truth, righteousness, the gospel of peace, faith, salvation, and all the sword of the Spirit becomes our refuge and defense in the face of the adversary's schemes. As we are back on the sacred journey of prayer to fight our battles, let us do so with hearts attuned to the divine frequencies, minds anchored on the promises of God, and spirits resilient in the face of challenge. So in the next chapters of our collective prayer, we will be unpacking the specific petitions, declarations and supplications that resonate with the echoes of faith, seeking victory in every area of our lives. May this prayer become a beacon of light, guiding us through the darkness and the source of strength, fortifying us for the battles that lie ahead. In the name of Jesus, Amen. And so I begin this prayer. Join me. I lift you up before the throne of grace with thanksgiving to God Almighty, who has given us the victory through Christ Jesus, our Lord. And so, Father, we come trusting in the strength that as we face battles on every side, we are also reminded that Psalm 27 verse 1 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Let this truth resonate in our hearts 
as we put it and navigate through these challenges. And so we declare over our lives the assurance of Psalm 144, Verse 1 that says, Blessed be the Lord, our rock, who trains our hands for war and our fingers for battle. Father, our strength in you will find us our rock and fortress, equipping us for every battle that comes our way. And so we acknowledge that the battles we face are not against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual forces of darkness. And in the powerful name of Jesus, we rebuke every scheme, every plot, and every attack of the enemy that seeks to hinder our journey. As we tread through the challenges, we declare that the light of the Lord illuminates our path, guiding us through every shadow and uncertainty. And so I speak to everyone under the sound of my voice that your salvation is secure in Christ. And as I pray that you stand firm in the knowledge that the Lord is your stronghold, a mighty fortress that cannot be shaken. And I pray that the Lord shall train your hands for war and your fingers for battle. May the weapons of righteousness be at your disposal. May the armor of God be your protection in the spiritual warfare you encounter. In the moments of doubt or fear, I declare the promise of Psalm 27 verse 1 and declare that the Lord is your light, your salvation and the stronghold of your life. Let these words be a source of strength and courage, knowing that no challenge is too great with the Lord by your side. I bind every spirit of fear, anxiety and uncertainty that may try to assail your heart and mind. Instead, I declare a spirit of boldness faith and confidence in the Lord to rise within you. May the battles you face be opportunities for the Lord to showcase His power and deliverance in your life. I pray for victory in every area, victory in your thoughts, victory in your emotions and victory in your circumstances. Father, we thank you for being our light, salvation and stronghold and I ask these ones agree with me and as they face battles may the triumph that you have given them become evident as we declare in the name of Jesus we come before you with the assurance of your power and victory as I declare that as these ones face today's battles on various fronts I lift them up before the throne room of grace standing on the promises found in your word according to Psalm 68 verses 1 and 2 God shall arise, his enemy shall be scattered, and those who hate him shall flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so you shall drive them away. As wax melts before fire, so the wicked shall perish before God. And so I declare over your life that as you trust in the Lord, his divine intervention will scatter every adversary, and the plans of the wicked will perish before his mighty presence. In the name of Jesus, I invoke the truth of Psalm 34 verse 7. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers him. I pray for a divine encampment of angels around you, providing a protective shield in the midst of your battles. May the angels of the Lord deliver you from every threat and danger that may arise. I bind the spirit of fear, doubt and anxiety that may attempt to assail your heart and mind as the word of God has declared in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 for God gave us a spirit not of fear but of power and of love and self-control. I declare a spirit of power, love and self-control to reign within you dispelling any fear that the enemy may seek to instill as you engage in these battles. May the Lord grant you strength and courage. May you find refuge in his presence, knowing that he is your fortress and strong tower. Proverbs 18 verse 10 says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run into it and are safe. I rebuke every scheme, tactic, and attack of enemy against your life family and circumstances and I lose the power of heaven to intervene bringing forth victory and triumph in every area of your life. Matthew 18 18 says truly I say to you whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. I declare binding against the strategies of the enemies and losing of heavenly victory over you. May the battles you face be opportunity for God's glory to manifest. I declare that every battle is an avenue for divine intervention, showcasing God's faithfulness and strength. May the Lord grant you discernment and wisdom to navigate these challenges, knowing that you are not alone, but surrounded by his unfailing love. Father, we thank you because we are assured 
and we stand confident that whatever we have said, you've heard, and you have answered. With thanksgiving, we say this prayer in Jesus' name. Familiar spirits are spirits that survey and study people, territories, and bloodlines of families. Paul experienced one in a slave girl in Acts 16 verse 16. This spirit became very familiar with your lifestyle that it becomes easy for you to fall for their deception. The goal of their assignment is to gather spiritual intelligence that would open doors to instigate death and destruction. They enter and gain power in people's lives by disguising themselves as something common or familiar while operating unawares through people, places, and things. This is why the Bible in 1 John 4 verse 1 says, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. Join me as I pray against any familiar spirit that is in your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for yet another opportunity to come to your throne of grace and obtain mercy even in a time of need. And so, in the name of Jesus, I call upon you to obliterate the foundational roots of familiar spirits in the life of those under the sound of my voice. I declare that any roots of familiar spirits in your paternal and maternal lineage be eradicated by the power of Jesus Aligning with the truth of Galatians chapter 5 verse 1 For freedom Christ has set us free Stand firm therefore and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery I proclaim that every soul tie in your life associated with familiar spirits be broken I'm decreeing their destruction in the name of Jesus In accordance with 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh But have divine power to destroy strongholds I invoke the fire of God upon every seat and dwelling place of a familiar spirit in your life in the name of Jesus. I render important every diviner aligned with familiar spirits against your life, pulling down their influence by the consuming fire of Jesus' name. In accordance with Hebrews 12, 29, for our God is a consuming fire. I pray that the habitation of familiar spirits in your life is turned into desolation. I declare that every throne and stronghold established by familiar spirits in your life be dismantled in the mighty name of Jesus. That every network and communication system established by them is destroyed and broken apart in the name of Jesus. Echoing this promise in Jeremiah 23 verse 29, is not my word like fire, declares the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces. Every transportation system of familiar spirits against your life be disrupted in the name of Jesus. As I align with Mark 9, 23, and Jesus said to him, If you can, all things are possible for one who believes. I decree that the weapons employed by familiar spirits for you to be turned against them, causing their own downfall in the name of Jesus. Following the wisdom of Proverbs 26, 27, whosoever digs a pit will fall into it and the stone will come back on him who starts its rolling. In accordance with Matthew 18, 18, truly I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. I withdraw any of your blessings from every strong room and the bank of familiar spirits in the name of Jesus. May the authority of Jesus' name prevail, dismantling the influence of familiar spirits over your life and securing your freedom as promised in John 8, 36. So if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. I declare that every altar of familiar spirits risen against you be shattered in the name of Jesus and every lock fashioned by familiar spirits against you Break into pieces by the purifying fire, as declared in Matthew 16, 19. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. I declare the traps set for you by familiar spirits be destroyed in Jesus' name. Every utterance and projection of familiar spirits against you be overthrown by the authority of Jesus aligning with Isaiah 54 verse 17 no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper 
and I reverse every burial crafted against you by familiar spirit. Stand in the promise of Isaiah 25 verse 8. He will swallow up death forever and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces. I call for deliverance of your soul from every bewitchment of familiar spirits. As Psalms 34 verse 17 declares, When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. I declare that the effect of every summon to your spirit by familiar spirit be reversed. Recognizing the authority given in Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Behold, I have given you authority to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall hurt you. In the name of Jesus, I declare that the identification marks of familiar spirit in your life are wiped off by the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus. As Revelation 12, 11 proclaims, and they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb. I declare that every attempt by familiar spirits to exchange your virtues, be frustrated and standing on the firm word of God in Proverbs 19, 21. Many are the plans in the mind of man, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. I speak the blood of Jesus to annihilate every manipulation fashioned against you by familiar spirit. As written in Revelation chapter 1 verse 5, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood, in the powerful name of Jesus, I declare victory for you over the schemes of familiar spirits in your life. I declare also that every spell and enchantment devised against you by familiar spirits be disintegrated in the name of Jesus. I decree that every covenant forged with familiar spirits, whether intentionally or unintentionally, they are dissolved in the powerful blood of Jesus. As written in Hebrews 9:14, how much more with the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience from dead works to serve the living God. And so I retract every part of your body from any altar associated with familiar spirits. Standing on the promise of 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19, that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So I declare that anything planted in your life by familiar spirits emerge and perish now in the name of Jesus. Matthew 15 verse 13 says, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be rooted up. And so in that vein I declare that every initiation orchestrated by familiar spirit against your destiny are annulled. I reverse every evil pattern plotted by familiar spirits for your destiny. In the name of Jesus, stand in firm in Jeremiah 29, 11. For God says he knows the plans that he has for you, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you future and hope. And so I declare every cage constructed by familiar spirits to confine your life, be disintegrated in the name of Jesus. Lord God says in Psalm 91 verse 3, for he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence and so from today. You are delivered, completely protected and shielded from every and any kind of familiar spirit or its activities over your life. In the name of Jesus, evil projections are frequently likened to arrows carrying with them a symbolic potency. These arrows often unleashed by an unseen or inconspicuous sender traverse a meticulously plotted course, aiming to strike their intended target. The sender's strategy involves thorough study and mapping to ensure accuracy. At times, these evil projectiles are released indiscriminately, finding unsuspecting victims, particularly those lacking in prayerful defenses. The lethal nature of these evil projections manifest in swift and unforeseen consequences, ranging from sudden deaths to intricate health complications. For you aligned with the divine as children of God, these arrows hold no sway. For you are temples of the Most High, positioned above principalities and powers. The protection derived from this divine affiliation shields you from the detrimental impact of evil projections. The assurance of divine elevation serves as an impenetrable defense 
against the arrows sent by evil forces, preserving the sanctity of your life and endeavors. And so, I would like to pray for you, particularly those who have been the target of evil arrows, particularly also for those that have suffered it, not knowing because of the lifestyle that has to do with a low level of prayer. If you need that deliverance, please join me knowing that you are in Christ and your eyes of understanding has been enlightened and so you can speak to the arrows and they will return to the sender. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because we know you are our Father. Your word says no good thing would you withhold from us. They said we should call you in the day of trouble and you answer us and show us great and mighty things that we do not know of. And so God, I come seeking your divine protection from every evil arrows that may have been launched against everyone and anyone under the sound of my voice. Father God, as we go into your word, knowing that your word is the anchor on which we stand, Lord, we come and declare, bringing forth victory and safeguarding from the schemes of the enemy. Starting with Psalm 64 verses 7 and 8, we say, Lord, but God will shoot them with his arrows. They will suddenly be struck down. He will turn their own tongues against them and bring them to ruin. Lord, we stand upon the assurance of this promise in the mighty name of Jesus as we pray for the defense against any arrows of malice, slander or ham that may have been sent their ways. In the authority of Jesus' name, I ask that God you will return these arrows to their senders, causing them to fall harmless and powerless in the name of Jesus. I acknowledge that the enemy seeks to use the tongues of others to bring harm and chaos over people's lives. But as I stand in the presence of God, I declare that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you already have condemned it as it is written in Isaiah 54 verse 17. I speak a reversal of every negative word spoken over your life and declare God's protection over your reputation, relationships and well-being. As I continue to pray, I draw upon the words of Psalm 144 verse 6, send forth lightning and scatter the enemy, shoot your arrows and rout them. I invoke God's divine intervention, unleashing his lightning to scatter every force of darkness that surrounds you that have been dealt with by the enemy. Let the word of God and the arrows of his justice and righteousness rout out the plans of the adversary, rendering them ineffective and nullified by the power of God's mighty hand. In the name of Jesus, I command any evil arrows targeted at your heart, mind or body to be intercepted and disarmed. May the angels of God as ministering spirits stand guard around you in the name of Jesus. May they deflect every attack aimed at causing harm or hindrance. Let the shield of faith be raised high, extinguishing all the flaming arrows of the evil one in the name of Jesus. I trust in God's promise. From Psalm 91 verses 4 and 5, he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you would find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rapid. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. I pray that you will find solace and protection beneath the shelter of God's winds. Let his faithfulness be your shield, guarding you from every attack visible or unseen. I declare a reversal of every curse or negative intention sent towards you. As I stand upon the authority of God's word, I command that every undeserved curse shall not come to rest. According to Proverbs 26 verse 2, instead let blessings and favor surround you like a shield as it is written in Psalm 5 verse 12, deflecting every arrow of misfortune and harm in the name of Jesus. I acknowledge the wicked may bend their bows and set the arrows against the righteous, but we take a refuge in God's word in Psalm 11 verses 2 and 3, the refuge of God's presence. I lift you up to God in this prayer 
trusting in the promises of the scripture. For look, the wicked bend their bows, they set their arrows against the strings to shoot from the shadows at the upright in heart. When the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? In this moment, I declare that by the authority granted through Jesus Christ, every arrow aimed at you will fall short for the foundations of your life are firmly anchored in the unwavering strength of our Lord. As the wicked may plot and scheme in the shadows, seeking to harm the upright in heart, I pray a divine reversal over every arrow sent your way. Just as the foundations of the building withstand the storms, I declare that your foundations established in faith and righteousness remain unshakable. In the name of Jesus, I return every evil arrow to its sender, nullifying its intended harm. May these arrows aimed at your heart and peace fall harmlessly to the ground. The shield of faith surrounds you, extinguishing every flaming arrow of the evil one. As we stand together in prayer, I ask for a divine covering over your life. May the Lord surround you with the impenetrable armor of his love and let the light of his truth dispel the darkness may the enemy's schemes be thwarted and may you walk in the victory secured through the blood of jesus christ as i declare that in the face of adversity you will not be shaking god's protection surrounds you and his angels are camp encamp around you the plans of the wicked are broken the arrows of harm are returned void may the peace that surpasses understanding god your heart and mind in christ in the name of jesus in the face of adversity i declare that the foundations of your life is built upon the rock of christ unshakable and unwavering the arrows of the enemy shall fall short for god's protection is a fortress that cannot be breached as we continue to pray i seek god's guidance and wisdom for you may the lord open your eyes to discern the subtle snares and traps set by the adversary may the holy spirit be their guide leading them away from the path of danger and into the light of God's truth. May the Lord surround you with godly counsel and support relationships that uplift and encourage in Jesus' name. I declare victory over area of your life. May the Lord break every chain that binds you, whether visible or invisible. May he release you from the grip of the evil one and let the power of the Holy Spirit transform every aspect that needs redemption in the name of Jesus. I cast out every spirit of darkness, oppression and confusion from your life. Let the light of God's truth shine brightly, bringing clarity and peace to your heart and mind. May the Lord grant you peace, dispelling any fear or anxiety that may have taken root in the name of Jesus. As I stand in confident assurance that the Lord is a mighty fortress, a refuge in times of trouble. The arrows of the enemy may be aimed, but they shall not find their mark. You are covered by God's grace, surrounded by God's angels, and protected by the power of God's word. May this prayer serve as a declaration of peace and joy over the schemes of the devil in your life, knowing that God is your protection and is always with you in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, because I know every arrow that has been sent has returned back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father for doing exceeding abundantly above all that we've asked or said, according to your power that is at work in us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Please subscribe to this channel, and as you do so, God bless you.